<laughs> so somebody asked a question under one of our posts and we want to quickly answer the question <clears throat> i'll read out the question and then apostle will try to answer the question actually the answer to every question you're asking is inside your spirit amen it's inside your spirit you know but sometimes fetching them out fetching it out is always the issue yeah amen so that's why people ask questions to, to fetch them out mm -hmm. we need to learn to see things through the lens of grace mm -hmm. accomplishment yeah which is the finished work okay the record of god is in you say he that has the son has the record mm -hmm. in himself mm -hmm. so when she said that answer to every question is in the spirit yeah that what informed that is that we have discovered from the scripture that god's record concerning the son is in our spirit that's mm -hmm. first john chapter 5 verse 8 and 9 down to 10. Mm -hmm. okay okay so let me just read the question she asked the question from ezekiel 47 1 to 12 where we're talking about the waters and the levels of waters she said that the post had answered the question that she had been asking in her heart but that she just wanted to know if there are levels of acceptance being in christ okay. levels of acceptance being in christ that is are there levels of christ hmm? are there levels like are you christ at a level mm -hmm. am i christ at a level am i a higher level of christ are you a higher level of christ you know is rejoice a higher level of christ is sandra a higher level or, or a lower level of christ at their levels like the waters of ezekiel what is ezekiel talking about by that scripture where he was talking about the levels water at the ankle at the knee and then the waist and then here and then the overflow what was he talking about the ezekiel vision hmm. all the old testament prophets prophesied about the Messiah some of them their prophecies pointed to the coming of the Messiah mm -hmm. some addressed the birth, the the resurrection mm -hmm. the death of the Messiah mm -hmm. then you have some of them whose prophecy addressed the man Christ Exactly. in his resurrected state exactly right now to answer ezekiel's question i mean to answer the question in the light of ezekiel's prophecy mm. we will have to look at what jesus said in john 17 mm. where he said this is life eternal mm. that they might know thee the only true god mm. and jesus christ whom thou had sent mm. now there jesus was talking about knowledge Okay, we have knowledge at levels. Christ is a personality. So there is the personality called Christ. Then you have the knowledge of the personality. Exactly. It is in the knowledge we have degrees. Okay, we have levels. So Ezekiel prophecy addressed the issue of consciousness. That is it. Consciousness at different levels. Yes. And don't forget that consciousness is a function of knowledge. Yes. Now, let me, before you continue, mm. the water. Yeah. Is already, is the water. The water is the water. Mm. The water is the water. The, 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 the river is the river. Right? Uh -huh. Now, the measurement of it. Mm does not reduce the river no it's only showing how much the person who is carrying that water has come to know uh -huh. the reality of that water exactly okay so the when we can we read it ezekiel um yeah um from your phone <laughs> i think um, ezekiel 43 ezekiel 43 like she said the fact that i don't have the knowledge of my identity does not mean that the I'm one who has Christ. it 
is higher than I am. It doesn't make me lesser Christ. And if I have it, it doesn't make me higher, higher Christ. Christ. So there is no lesser Christ. There is no average and there is no higher Christ. Christ is a name. That's what Christ, you know, is a word. C-H-R-I-S-T. It's a name. Now, we have to place the name aside to see the person called by the name. If we all, as we were baptized into Christ, had put on Christ, nobody is putting on lesser Christ, and no one is putting on higher Christ. The same thing with anointing. There is no lower anointing and higher anointing. Okay, where the difference is, is in knowledge, is in consciousness. The level of your consciousness is determined by the level of your knowledge of Christ you have come to know. Yes. Your consciousness level is determined by the knowledge of your identity you have been able to lay hold on. Mm -hmm. And so, when people teach Christ consciousness, I need them to understand that consciousness is not, is not, you can't talk about consciousness without knowledge. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so people who teach about Christ consciousness without emphasizing the identity called Christ, okay, are actually not equipping the people with consciousness. Once you have knowledge, you will have consciousness. Hmm. It's consciousness that helps us in the place of meditation. Hmm. What you are conscious of is what you 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 meditate, you ponder yes, on. Yes, what is already in the within. Heart. Yes. Okay, so let's read. Okay, so I'll just start reading from Ezekiel forty-seven. Afterwards, he brought me again onto the door of the house, and behold, waters issued out from under the threshold of the house eastward, for the forefront of the house stood toward the east and the waters came down from under from under from the right side of the house at the south of the altar then he brought me out of the way of the gate northward and led me about the way without unto the outer gate of the way that looked eastward and behold there ran out waters on the right side and when the man that had the line in his hand went forth eastward he measured a thousand cubits and he brought me through the waters the waters were to the ankles that is a measure mm -hmm. then he measured a thousand and brought me through the waters you see it is the same water same water it's not another water it's the same is the is the man himself navigating him you know through the water but it's the same water the water is the spirit mm right and what is happening here is more like the soul coming into awareness of what the spirit already is yeah yeah and and again he measured a thousand and brought me through the waters the waters were to the knees this time around again he measured a thousand and brought me through the waters were to the loins here mm -hmm. waist after he measured the thousand and it was a river I could not pass over. For the waters were risen. Waters to swim in. So what he called river, river. and what he called water <laughs> is the same reality. It's the same. <laughs> At a level it was called river. Mm -hmm. At a level he used the word water. Mm. The river is the water. The That's water is the river. But we are looking at the person that is being measured now. Okay, it's just one personality. Okay, now if you import this into the New Testament, you'll be looking at a man who already is identified with Christ. The measurement is his awareness of God's accomplishment within him, which we refer to as our identity. Okay, because in divinity, there is one spirit. That's right. In divinity, there is one Holy Ghost. In divinity, there is one Christ. So Holy Ghost, 
the spirit called Holy Ghost, Christ, righteousness is one. Yeah. So you cannot measure nature, image. Oh God. No, it is knowledge you measure. Aye, 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 aye. You can't measure life oh, oh, entity, oh, oh, life personality. Oh, 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 no, oh, sure. it is knowledge you measure. It is awareness you measure. Don't forget Ephesians says, till we all come yes. to the measure okay. of the stature. Until we all come unto the, the knowledge. knowledge of the Son of God, mm -hmm. unto a perfect man, to, mm -hmm. the, to the measure mm -hmm. of the stature mm -hmm. of the fullness. Of Christ. You see, so it is this it is it is knowledge that is being measured here now and not the personality not himself. Not the person that ah that is a yeah. measureless being. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I, I want to read something interesting. I want you to know that when you hear river, don't 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 just look at physical water. Physical mm. water is representing something that you are because it is the spirit water that gave birth to the water that you see out there the water we see out there is creation the water that we do not see is spirit right so when you hear water and because just... spirit does not have human name yeah. okay divine realities don't have name here yeah. and to explain them to humans you have to name them with human name and in naming them with human name you name them names that are already used to define natural realities for example there's a reality here on earth called by the name water okay so the name water was borrowed and was used to uh, to define what is not called water where that reality is existing so when you say water you have to take your eyes away from the water we drink or the river we swim in just understand that the name of the river which is what you call water was used to define another reality that is not existing in the earth so what we are talking about here what was being measured is not is not water ezekiel used the word water to explain a reality that when you import it into time it doesn't have a name all right so he has to use the name water to try to exp explain his experience mm. but it's not the physical water mm. yeah i find something very interesting about this book of ezekiel because i see it as a prophecy mm. of what is to come of which we are the fulfillment what I'm, I'm about to read now is we are the Ezekiel prophesied but we are the prophecy manifested mm. that is why Apostle keeps saying that the ministry of the prophetic at this time is the declaration and expression and manifestation of what God already did yes because all the prophets were pointing they were talking about what God was going to do what was to come mm. we are here as the one that has come so our prophetic expression is the testimony of jesus christ we are the spirit of prophecy so let me read this and okay from verse 9 and it shall come to pass you see it shall come to pass, to pass. not that it had it had it shall it shall and it had you see, foretelling mm. and foretelling. Mm. There is there is foretelling prophetic expression. There is foretelling prophetic expression. Mm. Okay, so here we're looking at foretelling mm. prophetic expression. Mm. It shall, that is foretelling. Mm. Okay, okay, read. Yeah, and it shall come to pass that everything that lives that moves wherever the rivers shall come hmm. shall live <laughs> that is everything that has birth hmm. and comes in contact with this river will live remember that jesus said out of your belly shall flow 
shall flow rivers that's the river ezekiel was talking about because is it sorry Continue. ezekiel was seeing this thing in the shadow but when jesus came jesus just opened everything wow and that was why the Pharisees were angry because they're like, oh, is, oh, look at this one. This school you go, where did you, who is your teacher? How did you, did you know all these things? The guy himself is a school, he's a learning, he's a book that is to be studied. They didn't understand. Jesus was revealing the divine pattern. Man does not need to go to school and sit down and somebody will be talking over his head. That's not how man learns. Man the way God created man himself is a book. So when Jesus was coming, he said, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. <laughs> it is written of me. I come to do your will, O God. That is, himself is a book unfolding, is a scroll unfolding. You don't send that kind of a man to school. Mm -hmm. To go and do what? <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. I didn't say you should not go to school, though. <laughs> This is what I'm saying. I'm saying that there is the, the knowledge, the book Spiritual of life. Spiritual knowledge cannot be acquired ah, from, the, from, the, from the intellectual world. world. That's what she's saying. Ah, she's not talking about people exactly. not going to school to acquire intellectual knowledge. So Simply saying that spiritual knowledge regarding our identity cannot be acquired from the intellectual um, uh, school. Yes, it, it, school no, knowledge does not come from outside. Are you also aware that most of what we study in school that people who are giving us such theories are not did not acquire them from school? Hmm. I, I think I mentioned this thing some days ago. They they download it. Yeah. <laughs> is that everything you acquire from school? Every knowledge that comes through the school platform. It's not even knowledge. When Paul came, Paul said, No man taught me. Yes. No man taught me. Yes. Okay. So but we we have the school setting today because of the because of how the mind of man has been, uh, the ability of the mind to comprehend divine things has been reduced. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's why you have schools today. Okay, now you have to you have to have book where you write. You exactly. have computer where you document things. Ordinarily, the um, the mind has the ability to keep knowledge and never to forget. But because people forget things, that's why they put them inside uh, software, hardware, and all that, you know. Now, the, our cry is that we need ministries whose focus will be on what is in our belly. Then, that's right. Mm. The ministry Jesus initiated began by focusing on what he deposited in our belly. Mm. Somehow, along the line, there was a deviation from that. And the church experienced what is called the Dark Age. Coming out of the Dark Age experience has been a major problem, challenge. Today, we have not been fully delivered from the effects of the Dark Age. How do I know? We are yet to fully focus on what is in our belly because it is out of our belly. Ben. The river is already there. Yeah. And the river is expected to flow. And like what she said, that anything this river touches shall live. <laughs> you are carrying the river. <laughs> but we still carry the mentality of death. Fear of death. Okay. You know, so when people talk about rapture, it is death that is propelling that idea of yeah. rapture. Fear of death. Mm. Fear of death. Mm. We are life to creation. Mm. If we if we all come to the revelation knowledge of our identity, we will rest. Mm. We will not be in a hurry to leave the earth. Because the intention of God is not for anybody to leave earth. Mm. No. That was not... Wait, did God... Let, let, let's look at Adam. Mm. When God created him, God put him in the earth then so, so that he will live for some years and die and mm. go to another dimension. No. He was supposed to fill the earth and replenish the earth mm. and release life, its essence, over the earth. Imagine an angel living for maybe 5,000 years and then he will die and then put off, put off his... No, no, no. That was not the intention. That's why... We are, you know, we are declaring, blowing this trumpet. The Lord is blowing his trumpet and we are sounding together with the Lord. 
because the intention of God is not for man to put off the earth suit. That's not the intention. The destination of man is earth. God manifested in the flesh. Amen. So, so, so the intention of God is not for people to die and go to heaven. It's for people who are already seated in the heavenly realms to bring God and manifest God on the earth. That kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You know, sweet, that um, I was not just thinking about the knowledge and how it's acquired, you know, now. And I saw that, for example, if you look at creatures in their different orders, mm -hmm. let's look at the, the fowls of the air. When you look at their nest, how they craft their nest, you'll mm -hmm. be wondering which school did they go, did they go to learn <laughs> how to craft their nest. When they finish crafting their nest, water does not penetrate into it to touch them when they are in it. Hmm. Who taught them how to mate? Hmm. Look at this. Who yeah. taught Adam what to call the animals in Eden? You see, so being able to see how things were yes. before they fall, yes. we help us to come out of some things that we have been subjected to. Hmm. Now, any school I'm not talking about secular school now. What is called Bible school and theological schools. That's what I'm referring to now. Mm -hmm. Any Bible school. And of course, there's no support, there's nothing like Bible school. But we have schools called Bible school, right? But any of those schools, together with theological school, that is not pointing people's attention to what is within already. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not helping them. Mm -hmm. What we do is that we hand information over to them. That's not what the Bible school is supposed to be doing. Mm. You don't hand information over to people because that's what we do in secular school. You go there, they hand information over to you. Okay? But in spiritual knowledge, like she said, the thing is, the water is in the heart, in yes. the spirit. Yes. You turn people's attention to what is within because we, 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 we flourish from within. Yes. God is in within us yes. and he is our within yes so what like philemon says the communication of our faith becomes effectual when we are acknowledging of every good thing that is in us that is in christ see, mm. the things that are in us you see us there is christ us there is not inside our belly us there is our spirit which is christ <laughs> That Christ that is our spirit, in him dwells the fullness of, of the, the Godhead. Godhead. So the fullness of the Godhead is our education, is our vocation, <laughs> is our learning. If we are not learning it and professing it, if it's not our profession in the earth, then we have failed our father. Okay. Yeah. 